Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of The Live with Naz, an hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from beautiful Southern California, where it's almost 80s in the morning and 40s in the evening. Alrighty, this is episode number 436, people, 436. That's awesome. I'm so glad you're here with us. Let's bring people from the other side, if we can. I don't know if we can. We're going to try and try and try. Let's see. Where are you people from the other side? Okay, there. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Please work. Comedian Nazareth. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. Yesterday was Facebook playing games, but today, today, please, please work. People from the other side really need this. Share. Yes. Oh, people from the other side, welcome. I know you're dead and you can't tell the difference, but hey, welcome back. We had a good show last night without you, but no. Hey. All right. Let's see who's joining us. Sarah, how are you? Come on, everyone. Rita. Rita, thank you for your questions. Thank you so much. Hello, people from the other side. Becky Ottenbury, Catherine Allen. Good to see you guys on this beautiful Thursday night, where sometimes it's more intimate than other nights because we only get our loved ones and friends and just we hang. Chris Martell from Michigan, how are you? Dolores, hello, Dolores. Welcome. Debbie Malone, good to see you. All right, let's Bobby Miller, my beloved. How are you? Becky Voth, welcome, welcome, welcome. And say come on over people from the other side. Yes. All right, I think we are getting more people. We have 57 people watching right now. Thank you so much. 64 right now. Welcome, welcome, welcome in a good Thursday night. Listen, tomorrow morning, early in the morning, I'm going to get up. I'm going to drive to Ontario Airport with my wife. She's gonna, I'm going to rent a car, go to Loma Linda University. I'm doing an event for 900 physicians and nurses. And then once I'm done at 11 o'clock, I'm going to get in the rental and drive five hours to Merced, California, where I'm doing a gala uh, or a concert for Alpha Crisis Pregnancy Center. And well, they're raising money to save babies and save lives. So that's what I'm doing and help families who decide to have the baby, which is awesome what they're doing. So we're going to do a fundraiser for them, a concert. And then from there, I will fly the next morning real early to Oak, uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, drive, rent a car, drive two hours to Green Bay, do the cup of joy which is a theater that does comedy christian comedy and clean christian events so i'm doing two cons two shows for them 6 30 and 8 30 if you're in wisconsin come on down they don't charge tickets they ask for a love offering but they don't ask for tickets so come on in and then sunday morning i'll be teaching at my friend's church mark gungers the big celebration church they have several campuses and I'm going to do the morning services, I think, at 9 and 11. So I'm looking forward to see you guys if you live in the Wisconsin area. Mr. Matthew Dirks, you're including. I would love to see you there. Also, Randy Warner, who's with us, would like to see you there, whoever's in Wisconsin, you know. So, all right. Let's see. How are you doing with many Vislas in the house? It's crazy. I have three Vislas staying with us. Three Vislas. And it just, one is the cutest thing in the world. She's like five months old and just so cute. It's just adorable. And her and Delilah are fighting the entire time. So right now they're asleep. They're dead. Because they just fight and fight playfully. They're not. And then Sammy is the other one who's like, leave me alone. I don't want anything to do with anybody. I haven't done it. Didn't do anything. So. We're just, you know, Maha is really taking all the heat for that. She's taking care of them. And uh, so I'm leaving early in the morning and leaving my family with three dogs. That's those Vishlas. They're so cute, though. 
Okay, let's see. 4 plus 3 equals 6. Bobby, leave the mask to Becky Vols. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're close. Uh, Vishla is praying. You have a very blessed trip. Please, I need the prayers. I need everything to go on time. I'm counting on the airlines. I'm counting on the rental cars. I'm counting on the events to all happen exactly. I'm counting on the weather. That's called faith, baby. If I worry about it, I will not do anything. So myself and my other four fingers on my left hand are happy to be here. All right. Well, welcome. Whatever fingers you can give us, except those two, you know. what uh, Sounds like a lot of high energy dogs in the house. Yes. I would leave my family if there were three visas in my house. <laughs> That's what I'm doing tomorrow. All righty, people. Last night I asked you the question. I said, give me... Uh, I said, give me the excuses why you won't see the doctor. Give me some excuses why you won't see the doctor. At number 20, I'm tired of him just practicing medicine on me. At number 19, he has cold hands. At 18, I eat an apple a day. Why do I need a doctor? At 17, I have abandonment issue and I can't be left alone so long. At 16, I have emotional issues and people with white coats scare me. At number 15, George Clooney was in there. <laughs> At number 14, I became a Scientologist. At number 13, his hands shake. At number 12, I don't want to face the truth about my condition. At number 11, when he said open wide, he was referring to my wallet. All right, here's the top 10 reason excuses. Top 10 excuses why you won't see the doctor. At number 10, every time I see one, they tell me something is wrong with me. At number do 9, my doctor won't kiss my boo-boos like my mother did when she made all things better. At number 8, I went 5 years ago. <laughs> At number 7, it's cheaper to try WebMD. At number 6, excuses why you won't go to the doctor. Because you can always find a better diagnosis from your Facebook friends. At number 5, they didn't like my second opinion. At number 4, I read all their magazines. <laughs> at number three, because she want to remove my appendix, but I need it at the back of my book. <laughs> at number two, I hate their scale. And the number one worst reason why you don't go to the doctor. His diploma looks like it was printed on a dot matrix printer. All right. Pastor David, that was funny. Mr. Michael Ramirez, you have two in there. That was good. Bobby got something, Sarah got something, Becky Vos got something, a lot of people, Neil, everybody got stuff. All right, so, hey, Naz from Nutty, Wisconsin. I better see you Saturday, bud. Drum roll, hey. Hello there, all right. I have no idea of what equals what tonight. It's four plus three is six. All right. So, all 80 people, you know what, tomorrow I'm telling you, I'm going to speak to 800, 900 physicians and nurses from the Loma Linda University Medical Hospital. So, it's a medical school. So, give me the worst name for a medical school. It might be funny. Worst name for a medical school. Worst name for a medical school. That's sad. I know I could I could have used his limb, but the, you know that's that's what do you call it? That inside joke. It's killer, but it's inside joke. Worst name. You were wear a white doctor's coat. Oops. Praying for you, Naz. You're going to get a lot of options. Hey, doc. No bones about it. Hack it and whack it medical school. <laughs> That's funny, Sarah. That's actually funny. Hack it and whack it. Train brains. <laughs> Cross dressing doctor school. All right. Use used to be humans medical school. Tombstone Medical School. Oops, we cut the wrong thing. 
Hotel California. Take your best shot. Expensive. Free charging here. All right, give me the worst name for a medical school. Pat knows, so he's okay with it. Pat always make it to the top 20 when he says something. Surgeons are us. 12 years to prescribe an antibiotic. Has been Walmart. <laughs> that would be bad. I graduated from Walmart Medical School. Hmm. Scary. That's what happened. You have three dogs in the house. What do the best we can with? Oh, we do the best we can with what we have. Hey, what were you expecting? Medical school. Oh, man. Cold hands and taxidermy. <laughs> Medheads. Okay. Worst name for a medical school. Doggy Hauser Med School. Med Clell Medical Schooling. Medical schooling. <laughs> they can't even spell it. Right. We're so vain, med. Bring your own instruments. B Y O I. That's funny. Practicing physicians practice. <laughs> right. All right. It's at first you don't succeed, try again. Sorry, Nez, internet slow, but I'm still commenting. Good. Abracadabra. <laughs> Abracadabra. Billy Bob's discount medical school and used car. Interns to outers. <laughs> Fauci's Experimental <laughs> Research Institute. Doctors Octopus Medical School. Pins and needles. Scrub, scrub, and scrub again. <laughs> okay. Brad is here. Where's Brad? Brad. Brad Harris. Hello, Brad. Welcome. Have we had Brad before? Am I forgetting now? It's been a while or new first timer. Brad, if you're first time, city and state, if you've been with us before, welcome back. The operation game, make medicine fun again. Acupuncture are us. Work to death and mortuary. Saw bone surgical group. Limb trimming and tree falling. <laughs> Another inside joke. IV of caffeine medical school. Stitch it up, buttercup. <laughs> Alternative to law school. <laughs> Missing finger medical school. How about my dad made me do it? My parents made me do it medical school. All right, welcome back, Brad. Remind me, where are you at? What's... Are you in California? We transfuse you. Bone heads. Okay, people, all 75 people, let's hydrate and share right now. Okay. Okay, 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 let's see. In and out, drive through medical. Bedford, Texas. All right, welcome. always good we're going 
We're staying here for you guys. 436 shows. When you can, join us. There's some of you here every night, and I deeply appreciate that. And there's some of you come in when you can, and I understand. And some of you check on us once in a while, and there's nothing wrong with that. So as long as you need a laugh, when you need a laugh, we're here for you. When you need prayer, we're here for you. I play a doctor on TV medical school. The unreserved medical school. We cut it out. In and out medical school. No bedside men are required. T tubular trials medical school. Insomaniac maniacs. Zoom. <laughs> WebMD. <laughs> That's true. Ronald McDonald's Dentistry. Open sesame. Open sesame. <laughs> sesame. Surgically removed wallet. Bring your own orthopedic shoes. Alrighty. Jimmel, what? Jimmel and Hyde. Oh, Mr. Hyde, Mr. And Jimmel and Hyde Medicine Show. Mr. What's his name? And Dr. Hyde. I forgot his name. Come on. Paperwork and more paperwork. Shots for life. 19th century medical school. We shock and poke you. <laughs> Poor Bobby. He's, <laughs> he's suffering from the acupuncture still. Rhonda, Dr. Jekyll's School of Medicine. Right, that's it. Jekyll and Hyde. Okay, that's who he is. Medicine, medical school. Medicine show. <laughs> Lance Medical School. Broke with no sleep. Dr. Jekyll. Right, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. All right, let's see. Broke with no sleep, Lance Medical School. Pat, Neanderthal Medical School. <laughs> okay. That's fine, let's see. Dead, dead, and more dead. <laughs> How about Chase Bank Medical School? <laughs> These, what did one doctor say to the other doctor? I lost my place. Let's start over. I lost my place. Let's. I don't get it. Okay. Video Med School, Country Medicine... Snake oil, pill pushers are us. Twilight Zone School of Medicine, nurse, Ratchet Medical Center, unlicensed. Okay, let me change the question on you. And this is something interesting because tomorrow they're going to open the event. A physician is going to pray. Okay, here comes Carol. Carol's at home, so this dog's gonna bark. There are three dogs barking right now. Stitch on the dotted line. Okay, so here's the next question. If you're a doctor, what can you pray using medical terms? Can you pray using medical terms? I don't know if that's a hard question. Okay. So, by, <laughs> so by number, three dogs night. Rochelle, nice, that would be so cool to go to online. Yes. Okay, Rochelle, she is not with us tonight, but she just 
message just she's watch, she was watching John's dry bar they have my dogs barking oh no this is like google and siri three dogs night okay physical heal thyself physician heal thyself good that's a hard i thought that was a hard one but let's see what you guys can do extract the devil and sew up the wound <laughs> give us this day our order our daily scalpel that's good becky Physicians, heal thyself. <laughs> oh Lord, please turn this water into the correct blood type. Good, we're, we're starting. Okay, here we go. I know your brains are like squeezing your brains. What can we do with this one? This is an exercise in writing comedy. You always think, what do doctors do? And then you think, what is a prayer? What is people normally pray? And you connect the two, and that's comedy right there. So that's a good exercise tonight for you guys. I used to teach comedy for many years, actually. Some of my students are, you know, famous, doing great. And uh, some of them are not famous, but they're great, and they're on this show. And, uh, dear Lord, bless this knees. Dear Lord, bless, oh, forgive us our oopsies as we forgive our oopsieers. <laughs> That's good. Lord, I need more stitches over my mouth today. <laughs> Lord, we lay our hands on the patient. Be healed. <laughs> Lord, give us a matching organ donor. That's right. What is the question? Thanks. Love all of you. Oh, Pancho. T uh, tomorrow. Hi, Lily. How are you guys? Okay, tomorrow I'm going to speak uh, for about 900 physicians and nurses. And they're going to open the event in prayer. And I was just thinking, what do you think a doctor, a physician pray? What kind of, so can you pray using medical terms? Lord, give me, Lord, give me patience. To operate on. <laughs> oh, patience to operate on. Lord, still my shaking hands as we begin this operation. Be fruitful and birth the kids. Good. Demon out. Lead us not into the wrong <laughs> operation room. Nurse, get behind me. <laughs> Lord, don't let this person sue me. <laughs> let us pray that the hip bone is connected to the new bone. Right. Dear Lord, if my husband's lips offend me, I pray you surgically remove them. <laughs> Let this paper robe cover a multitude of flesh. Please, Lord, no more malpractice. Lord, help me catch this baby. These are prayers by physicians. Give me this day my daily bread. Wait, Rita, what is that? Give me this day my daily bread.
I'm not getting it, Rita. Let us see the light as we're on the road to Damascus. Lord, please stop the river of life coming out of me. Bread. Oh, money. My daily bread. Oh, mula. Okay. Lord, remove the evil cavity from this patient's mouth. <laughs> That's a hard one, huh? Okay, squeeze your brains, people, all 80 people. Lord, bless the hands that are all touching me. <laughs> okay. Guide my hands to fix this man. Lord, forgive me for what I'm about to do. <laughs> I sought the Lord and he said... Read two verses and call me in the morning. <laughs> okay. Lord, let this just be an antibiotic needed so I can go home. Bless the surgery and the hands that performed it. Over Elizabeth Gavin, over and out. <laughs> Lord, I pray get those gallstones behind me <laughs> lord you said laughter is good medicine hello elizabeth gavin first timer or before you've been here before let us know if you're new just city and state that's all we ask once siamese twins and the two shall become one <laughs> get up and walk Alrighty, Lord, give me the mind of St. Luke, right. Okay, it's 9 o'clock, let's hydrate and share. Okay, so right now. Okay. All right. I'm getting a lot of love notes here, not notes, love notes, but actually people loving what we just posted. Sometimes, can I tell you a secret, people? Can I tell you a secret? I have a social media manager that sometimes he posts stuff without telling me. Or I approve it, but I don't know when he's going to post it. So some sometimes he posts stuff, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. So people go, I loved your post today. I'm like, oh. Now, don't get me wrong. I still answer myself. I respond to the comments myself. So he just posts stuff. I respond to the com comments. If you if you see stuff on my personal Nazareth or Scala, that's all me. That's when I put the dog's pictures. I, you know, celebrate stuff. But... If you post something, if you write something, a comment, that's me responding to you. Okay, you knew that. Let's keep it a secret right now. So, today, today is National Chocolate Covered Cashews Day. Did you know that? Today is National Chocolate Covered Cashews Day. So, the question is, what are some things... You wouldn't want to see covered with chocolate. What are some things you wouldn't want to see covered with chocolate? I know I'm bringing it back to food. I'm sorry. It's Thursday night. I won't be with you tomorrow, so might as well... 
get you hungry. Okay, so we went from prayer for doctors to my favorite cockroaches. Oh, <laughs> Lord, do you want this one or not? Lead us into testing. <laughs> Lord, help me with this Lazarus treatment. Lord, please don't let me get kicked in the face when I test for reflexes. Not sure if you saw mine. We were there. Uh, way up there. Please let these drugs knock the patient out for the whole surgery type. No, I didn't see it, didn't. Lord, forgive me for turning this into, <laughs> into a sheep. Lord, strike the rock and let the wine flow. Sure, Lily. I mean, Bobby's doing that. Up and run. Let us use the anti-tongue depressor. Lord, give me the mind of St. Luke. Let my lawsuits go. <laughs> strawberries. I'm allergic to... Are you allergic to strawberries? And you live in Southern California? I'm sorry. Orange County. That's where all the strawberries are. Actually, in Garden Grove, they have the Strawberry Festival. I've been to that once. When my kids were little... And I put them on those rides that the guy that was operating it didn't have a dental plan. He had a couple teeth. And I had to trust my kids with his ride. That I have to assume this guy brought this in the back of his truck and put it together, this whole ride. And he's competing with Disney because he's like 15 minutes away from Disney. And... <laughs> I trusted my kids on those strawberries that you sit inside it like a cup and just goes around and around, makes you sick. And when you're done, your sock is missing or something. But I trusted that guy with no dental plan. But hey, let my law suits you, suits go. And it's just like that. We're already at chocolate. You got it. My shoes. You don't want your shoes covered in chocolate. Slugs. Chocolate-covered roaches, dill pickles, ew, <laughs> ew, Sarah, <laughs> Pat's prosthetic leg and chocolate, ants love them, my windshield wipers, <laughs> oh, that would be horrible, Becky, can you imagine someone for Valentine, <laughs> just <laughs> put chocolate on your windshield wiper, chicken, you don't want chicken, <laughs> mac and cheese, Chocolate chip beetle mint ice cream. Okay. Crickets. Augustus Gloop, right? You don't want to see him. Spaghetti. Dear father, when my kidneys come to stone me, please let this pass too. That is so funny, Rhonda. Oh. oh my socks. <laughs> Chocolate tarantulas. Ew. Ellen. Knew you were there. Gotta fix those gates so you don't fall into the wrong side, right? <laughs> chocolate covered worms. Cuc <laughs> oh. Cucumbers. Chocolate covers cucumbers. I know that festival, right? Dryer lint. <laughs> Ew. Crawfish. Well, in Louisiana, they might do that. I'm glad we're back to food. This is my happy place, right? My seatbelt. You don't want your seatbelt covered. Tarantulas, mealworms. I'm the Alpha and Omega 3. <laughs> That's funny, Rita. Lord, you're the Alpha and Omega 3. <laughs> I mean, fingernails. Ew. And actual mouths. <laughs> Spiders. Eggs, eggs, <laughs> cheeseburger, <laughs> right, that would ruin it. Fried green tomatoes, deep fried chocolate frog legs. <laughs> See how chocolate can ruin those beautiful things we can eat. All righty. <laughs> okay, let's see, my salad, all right. Yep, you don't want chocolate covered. 
You know those chocolate covered strawberries? They're like four or five bucks each nowadays if you come to South Coast Plaza in Orange County. It's like four or five bucks from Godiva. Like five bucks for one chocolate covered. Turtles, toads. <laughs> what is something you wouldn't want to see covered? Stuffed zucchini. Tastes like chicken, <laughs> tomatoes. Right. Deep fried chocolate frog. I actually had fried legs. Fry, uh, not fried. Frog legs. Steam fried legs in France. On the Champs Elysees, there's a restaurant there and they serve chocolate. They serve frog legs. I mean, then you're not going to get full from that. But it's just when you're in France, you eat frog legs. Lamb mint pie, chocolate lamb mint pie. Ouch. Tastes just like chocolate. <laughs> it's clam chowder. Brussels sprouts. Ow. Ow. Whale blubber. <laughs> At that price, that's why I make my own chocolate covered strawberries. That's a good idea. I've never done that. Liver and onions, ooh, cabbage, ooh. <laughs> See, f first time we talk about food and nobody's hungry now. French toast. Ah, I'll take chocolate-covered French toast, Chris. Test tube, Twix, Twix teasers. My mobility scooter. Hello, Rosetti, welcome. Chocolate-covered. This Actually, this question came from Rosetti. Sushi roll, okay. What are some things you wouldn't want to see covered with chocolate? And it's funny because today is National Chocolate Covered Cashews Day. Chocolate Covered Asparagus. Nez's glasses, right. Salmon. Oh, too furky. Alrighty. Chocolate covered animal fries. <laughs> My credit score. <laughs> Shrimp. Alfredo sauce. Three limbs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to ask you, what would you like to see covered with chocolate? But then again, it will be, it won't be. Kleenex. Hello, Michelle. Michelle Volison, how are you, young lady? It's been a while. After you saw me, you used to come here every day. After you saw me in Ohio, you started coming once a week or once. A <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? Okay, kidney stones, you don't want them to see. Godiva overrated. Oh, okay. oh, is it? Yeah, it is overrated, but what kind of chocolate? I mean, how do you make chocolate at home? What do you get? Do you get like chocolate chips and melt them? And then where do you get your own strawberries? Now you don't go buy the strawberries because if you want to be homemade, might as well be homemade. You grow your own strawberries. But no, I can, yeah, let me know. I'd love to do chocolate covered. My tax refund, chocolate covered bees knees. Let me see if I can bring the dogs here to show them to you. Hey, Tally. I have to move the water because they jumped like a storm. Can you bring the three dogs on the show? Oh, no, absolutely not. Why not? Bring the little one. Just bring him. Try it. I'll break the fight and bring them up. Okay, thank you, people. This is my... Um, I better move everything that can break. Because these crazy dogs, I think they're going to take the toilet paper and rip it to pieces. This is, uh, this is what I'm leaving my wife with for three days. Disaster. Okay, let's see. Through that. Batteries. Toilet paper. Here they come. Start a new job and play rehearsals. Wipe me up. Oh, okay. Cat food. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. 
Chocolate covered locust. Chocolate covered roots. Who let the dogs out? Oh, here they come. I use this. Oh, tastes better from scratch. Oh, taste. Thank you for sharing this. I will look it up. Doggy bone, three crazy vislas. You can melt chocolate chips of or any kind of chocolate bar or shaved chocolate in a double boiler. What's a double boiler? I have raw ca cacao. You can ground it till the chocolate liqueur develops. Then you can use it with sugar and dairy to make chocolate. Too much work though, but sounds good. Manna, <laughs> chocolate covered manna. Yep, that's in the new Bible for the seeker friendly church. Dog treats equal dead dogs. <laughs> All right, are they here? Hello, Carol, we got the puppy. Oh, please hi. be careful. Be careful. Hi, puppy. Oh. This is Jessie, the, the young baby. Be careful, baby. Hi, baby. She's able to fight Delilah and win. She's a strong little one. Hello, Jessie. She's won uh, the fights over toys several times. Okay. She always wins. She's, she's a little feisty. Yeah, hi, yeah, baby. Yeah. All right, I will take it That's back. That's it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Come along, Jess. Oh, they act very nice on the show, but take them downstairs and we're done. <laughs> All righty, puppy, <laughs> chocolate covered puppy. This one is quite simple. <laughs> oh, good. I'll try it. I promise you, I'm going to try it. That sounds so good. I love chocolate covered. Remember, they started doing something called the fountain, chocolate fountain, and you just. Stick your marsh oh marshmallow, chocolate covered marshmallow. Oh, also can use chocolate bark. What is that? After I can bark like a dog after dipping, uh, go gourmet sprinkle with nuts. <sighs> oh, coconut, mini chocolate chips sprinkles. Mm. All right, Debbie, buy puppy Jesse envelopes. <laughs> Chocolate covered envelopes, yep. Double boiler means pan over another pan with boiling water. Oh, I see. So you don't put it on immediate fire. You got it, Alan. Thank you so much. Paper clips. <laughs> Had these when I lived in Florida. Okay. Chip and chocolate. Hello, Neil. Welcome. I want that pop. I know. She's so cute. Puppy chow. Okay. It's 9.15. Let's hydrate and share. All 101 people, can you hydrate, please? And share this show. Right now, we're welcome to the Guinness Book of World Record game. If you're new with us, this is what we do. We're going to give you a record from the Guinness Book. And if you guess it, we give you three options, three chances. If you guess it correctly or you come so close to it more than anybody else, you win this beautiful toilet paper. Yes, it's still in demand. It's to play. We don't joke around. We don't play around. It's to play. To play. Sounds French. So, here we go. Are you ready? Get your pencils. No. I'm the most strawberries dipped in chocolate in one minute. The most strawberries dipped in chocolate in one minute was achieved by Benjamin Wilkins from Oxfordshire in the UK on October 29, 2013. How many strawberries was he able to dip in one minute? More than one, under 120. Give me your best number. Love how he calls it play. To play, Q-tips, ew, <laughs> almond bark, I melt mine in microwave. Almond bark, what is bark? Matza with ghetto tofu <laughs> covered in chocolate, best cracker ever. Oh, I didn't know. You just don't let the boiling water in the bottom pot touch the upper pot. Oh, okay. In my water, stamps, staplers, <laughs> cigarette chocolate. <laughs> we used to, you guys will not believe this. When we were little in Kuwait, it was legal. I mean, this is how cigarette companies are evil. They have packs of cigarettes exactly the same look 
as a regular pack of cigarettes, like Marlboros or Kent's or Rothman's or Dunhill's or whatever brand, and camels. We didn't have camels in Kuwait. Trust me, we had camels, real camels. We didn't have camel cigarettes. I'm telling you that we didn't have camel cigarettes in Kuwait or Middle East. It's just having in America to make fun of Middle Easterns. Joe Camel, never been to the Middle East. Okay, uh, so what they do is they sell us chocolate cigarettes in it. So you open the pack, it looks exactly like a pack of cigarettes, and you open it and it's like chocolate or candy cigarette. And you just like, you're trying to look like your dad and you're smoking it. And you get, you know, instead of getting lung cancer, you get diabetes because there's no nicotine in it, just sugar. So anyway, so yeah, chocolate-covered cigarettes. That You just brought memories. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Yep, the toppings are endless. Ooh. Okay, let's see. La okay, so Sarah said, let's see what the numbers. 23, 35, and 45. Matthew Dirk, 36, 22, and 50. Chris Martell, 75, 50, and 26. Becky Ottenberry, 55, 85, and 105. Okay, let's see. Lily, 113, 69, and 75. Bobby Miller, 25, 50, and 75. What's the range again? Yeah. More than one under 120. Pancho, 190, 99, and 55. And let's see. The Rooster and Ruby, the Red Hand, of course, love chocolate covered strawberries. Catherine, 50, 45, 67. Michael Ramirez, I copy Lily, can't type numbers driving. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll take whatever Lily says and we're. 75, 188 for Debbie Malone. Smoking camels. <laughs> oh, that's deceptive marketing. It is. We had candy cigarettes, right? What was the range? Over one, under 120. Michelle said 54, 44, and 118. Bobby said no salad, chocolate-covered salad. That's bad. Is that how you hide the smell of the bacon you were smoking back then? <laughs> yep. Yes, we have candy cigarettes as a child. So that's a horrible, horrible cigarette company. This Philip Morris, they were sued for so much. Still around. 113, 69, and 75. Matthew Dares, candy cigarettes used to be for 15 cents. Ours are just our sugar sticks. Yeah, and I was up to four packs a day. Just <laughs> eating them. I used to light and eat candy cigarettes tasted like toasted marshmallows. Oh, okay. Neil said thirty-seven, sixty-two, and one hundred two. Pancho one to one twenty. <laughs> okay, are you helping others or you just that's your guess, Pancho? Salt. Where's Lily's numbers? Lily, Lily, Lily. Lily said one thirteen, sixty-nine, seventy-five. Michael Ramirez said 113, 69, and 75. I'm a prophet. I think that's what he wanted to write. Okay, let's see. Sold 40, 68, 71 for Dolores. Becky Voth, 119, 78, 102. Chocolate covered chicken's feet. <laughs> Can I double my numbers by copying Michael as well? No. Stick with your numbers. Radishes. Ooh, soup. <laughs> Kale. Sold. Beets, string beans, sold out. Nez was a chain smoker. Yep, <laughs> sold. Okay, Ma okay. Lily said sold a few times. I think she's, uh, I don't want to get her upset right now. So here we go. The most strawberries dipped in chocolate in one minute is 59. See, two people said 55. It was Becky Ottenberry and then... Um, Someone else said Michelle, I think, uh, said 55. But the winner is Neil because Neil came with 62. So he was the closest and he earned, gets to win this wonderful toilet paper. Let's see. Michelle, no, Michelle Wilson said 54. So she was 
the third runner-up or the fourth runner-up, but the winners. Okay, yeah, Pancho. Pancho and Becky Ottenberry at 55. They were winning. And then comes Neil with 62. So Neil, enjoy this beautiful toilet paper. That's why I told you, do not change your numbers. Stick with it. There you go. Congratulations, people. It's 9.23. I just want to get your prayer request and... Alrighty. Okay. Uh, if you have any prayer requests, please, chocolate covered chicken. Give me your. Neil, good thing you didn't copy Michael, right? I came in second. Yes, you did. Chocolate covered toilet. <laughs> in Vietnam, we had hashish and weed in those packs. Oh, man. Were you in Vietnam? God bless you, brother. That's right. You're a vet. Veteran. God bless you. Chocolate covered x lax Okay, they had that. They had chocolate x lax We used to take it to school and give it to other kids. <laughs> chocolate <laughs> covered underarm. Used to get the candy sticks in trick or treating. Chocolate covered baking. I miss spamming the chat. I know. Salt. Chocolate covered pop rock. Okay, here you go. Let me tell you something. I told you earlier, and this is when I encourage your socks off. I told you earlier, tomorrow I have a show for Loma Linda University, which is paying me very well. 900 doctors and nurses. They're paying me very well. And then I'm driving that night, and I have another show that night in, Mer in Merced for the Alpha Crisis Pregnancy Center. They're paying me well. The next day, I'm doing two shows in Green Bay. And the next day, I'm doing a morning services at a church. In there. So I have one, two, three, four shows in three days. Why am I sharing this? Because during the pandemic, I was told that shows will never come back. That because of the pandemic and the big stars are not working, they're going to take the smaller gigs and all these churches and all these clubs and all these events are going to be full of these big names that can't get work because nobody wants to, to be in a crowd anymore. And for the next few years, we're not going to find work and all those, uh, what do you call it, prophets of doom were just going online and going on social media and actually i've known some of them they were my you know you know they were agents and stuff and they said that but you know what i want you to know people your present today is much better and much brighter than what you thought of it in the past because a lot of times you're thinking tomorrow is going to be horrible. Next year is going to be worse. In the next few months it's going to get worse. It's going to get bad. Guess what? It's better. It is better. So have I sat there and felt stressed and anxious and worried and concerned about, you know, 2022? I would have been miserable. I would have had ulcers. I would have been horribly miserable. But you know what? My God said, be anxious for nothing. So I'm not going to be anxious. And I'm not anxious. And guess what? I'm going to enjoy the shows this weekend. And I'm been thankful for every little show I get. Even if it doesn't pay. Even if I have to pay to book an arena. I am so thankful for it. Because God brought it to me and I trusted him not today I trusted him last year and the year before when people told me there's no shows so whatever you're concerned about now that's going to happen in the future would you knock it off would you stop it and just be thankful and trust when the Lord said be anxious for nothing to be anxious for nothing Tomorrow is going to be different than today. 
It can be better. We don't know that, but God knows that. And the God that knows that said, be anxious for nothing. And he said, even if it gets worse, I'm going to be with you. Okay? So, stop stressing yourself out. Stop being anxious and depressed and, and thinking of the future. And just enjoy tonight. Enjoy tomorrow morning. Go get some chocolate. Melt it. Use two pans. Don't put it on the fire or close to the boiling water. And dip some strawberries or chicken feet or whatever, locusts, whatever you want. We gave you a lot of ideas to what not to put there. And just eat it and enjoy it. Don't stress out. For May the Lord be with you. May he remind you of his faithfulness. May he show you. Because he rose from the dead last Sunday. I mean, we celebrated that. That means that sealed everything he, he said he's going to do. And what he said, you take it to the bank. So be anxious for nothing. Amen. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Please, please, Texas is alive and well. I left California right at the pandemic. We were mostly open. I found out about you with a show here during COVID. Amen. I'm so glad you did, Neil. Be anxious. So thankful for the doors opening. Yes. Has open doors. He does. Yes. Keep Maggie Joe. I will. I made cookies with excellent from my own. <laughs> All right. So I love you guys. Saying, please keep me in prayer this weekend. Tomorrow for the drive. The get there. Everything is on time. And then the, the show tomorrow for the physician would be awesome. And on Saturday night in Green Bay and Sunday morning that many people would turn their life to Christ. Love you guys. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be with you. See you.